GDevelop allows to create game. It is open source. And you can create game on web browser. Let's start by creating an empty project and add an empty scene. GDevelop has good tutorial. At the end of this video, you will see this game ready. Scene needs objects. In the objects panel, click add a new object. And then select sprite. In the object name field, type cloud. Add an animation box by clicking add an animation, then click add to pick a picture of cloud. After creation of cloud, drag it into the scene. Let's change background color of the scene from scene properties. Now, create a player in similar way we created cloud. And add idle animation to it. Add another animation for jumping by adding multiple images under it and tick the loop checkbox. Since player needs to be able to run on different objects or hold on to it, we add platform character behavior to it. Now, the player can be dragged onto the screen. Change the scene background to make the player visible properly. Let's hit preview button to see how the player. The player falls as there is nothing to grab. But we need to follow the player. So, we need to set a camera to point to it. We need to add some grass for the player to stand. For grass we pick tiled sprite. Add platform behavior to it. Drag it on the screen and stretch to cover good area. On preview, you can see that player can stand on the grass and falls down when it reaches the end. Add a bridge in similar way like we did for grass. But pick jump through platform as type for platform behavior. On preview, player jumps on the bridge. Use spacebar to jump on the bridge. Let's play jumping animation when player jumps. This can be done via events section of scene. So, switch to the events editor. Create a new event. Add the is jumping condition to the player object. Add the change the animation by name action to the event. In the animation name field, enter the name of the jumping animation. Similarly trigger idle animation when player is on floor and not moving. Now the player jumps properly. Let's add pictures for animation for running similarly and add event to trigger that animation. Take a look at the preview after adding the animations. A game is incomplete if player does not get reward. So, let's add coin in it. First create a simple sprite object. Then add collision detection event capture. On collision we will delete the coin from screen. Let's have a look at the preview. We need to keep track of the collected coin. This can be done by storing the count in variable. So, let's add a value of a scene variable action to the previously created event. Create a scene variable named score, choose it in the variable field. Set the plus sign for modification sign field. To show the score we need to add text object. Set it some default value. Drag it on the scene. To show the current score, add a new event with the action modify the text. Set the value to proper expression. Check out the preview. Move the the score text object to different layer. To show the score a fixed position in the preview screen. Game need an enemy. So, let's add a slime to the screen. Preview the basic slime. Surely it does nothing now. First we need to add movement to the slime. To do that we add a object variable to the slime. The name of the variable is set to direction, its default value is set to right. Add a force to the slime when it has right direction. In the preview you can see that the slime just keep on moving to right. Let's add a left object to scene and place it on the right side of slime. Then add an action in the event when slime hits the left object. The value of variable direction is changed to left after this event. In the preview it is evident. Now add a right object and place it on the left side of slime. Add a collision event action. On collision with right object the value of variable is set to left. In the preview, the movement of slime looks restrained on both sides. Now, hide the left and right object by setting the hide actions in an event with at the beginning of the scene condition. Let's see the preview. When slime hits player, the player should be dead. So, we add delete action on the collision event. In preview it works nicely. There should be an way to kill enemy. When player falls on it, the slime should die. So, we add another collision event but with this falling condition. The preview shows the desired effect. 
In a game there should be some checkpoints where player can go back to. So, let's add one such checkpoint. When player collides with this checkpoint, we want to store the position of this checkpoint in some scene variables that we can utilize later. When player dies after hitting slime, we want to move the player back to the checkpoint that it last visited. So, we add an event for collision and add an action to load the scene variables into player's position. Since we want to show the player again after hitting slime, let's remove that delete action. Play the preview to see the action. When the game starts, it is better to place the player near to this checkpoint. We can add this action in the at the beginning of the scene conditioned event. Check the preview. Now the basic game is complete. Let's play it full and have a good time. Thanks for watching.